Why was this movie made? Hello everyone, Mike here. Into the Blue 2, The Reef, is a god-awful movie that has no right to exist. This is the bad kind of sequel that feels the need to nearly rehash the same plot as the first movie with few major changes. They go the same route as Blue Crush by having a new cast and new characters but pretty much the same roles. You have the handsome lead hero, his smoking hot girlfriend, his douchebag best friend, and that guy's girlfriend who also dies, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The film starts as a man dumps containers into the ocean while escaping the Coast Guard and meets with some illegal businessmen. The guys kill him rather than simply retrieving the containers. It seems like there were plenty of easier options. So we meet our cliché characters in Hawaii who are Sebastian, Danny, Mace, and Kimmy respectively. Sebastian is obsessed with finding this sunken wreck called the San Cristobal because he doesn't want to work odd jobs forever. Just like the first movie. Mace quickly establishes that he is not very faithful to Kimmy as he describes the previous night where Kimmy walked in on him at the club when he took his shirt off and then some girl started licking beer off his nipples. A situation that we can all relate to. So Sebastian and Danny are met by a couple of British treasure hunters named Azra and Carlton. Carlton says that he can help them find the wreck and doesn't really say anything else. Despite how sketchy that is, Sebastian and Danny agree to help him, but he later admits that he's actually looking for the containers that were dumped into the ocean, which are filled with money, apparently. The group then decides to play volleyball with some girls from Survivor, and they all go clubbing because why bother writing characters when you can just show them hanging out together? So Mace becomes upset after he and Kimmy got into another fight because he just can't help himself. He tells Sebastian that he will never go back to her, and he lives wild and free. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I was thinking of a movie that doesn't use that exhausted cliché, because right after that, he and Kimmy start having sex in the next scene. There's also quite a lot of nudity in this movie, because as we all know, if your audience is bored by your inability to engage, the perfect solution is mo naked hose. The next day, Sebastian finds one of the containers and says that they will need to return with better equipment for the second. That night, Sebastian and Danny become suspicious and return to the site and discover that the crate they found is filled with bomb components. Carlton and Azra return and admit that they are planning some kind of terrorist attack, more specifically Pearl Harbor 2, and they capture Sebastian while Danny escapes. Azra also kidnaps Mace and Kimmy to rope them in as well when they had little to no knowledge of it beforehand. With the three of them bound and gagged, Danny is found unconscious and soon hospitalized. Azra overhears this on a radio and goes to the hospital to watch over her until she wakes up. Meanwhile, Carlton and his mercenary dude with fabulous hair force Sebastian and Mace to go underwater to retrieve the container or else Kimmy dies. Sebastian and Mace come up with a plan to mess up on purpose, which they do and this results in Kimmy's death. They're somehow surprised over this when they had little to no time to think this through and had no idea of what they would do after that, so what did you expect? Meanwhile, Danny wakes up and runs out of the hospital with Azra chasing her through the streets. I have to give credit, it's not a bad chase scene. It has a good amount of suspense, some neat settings, and I have to give props to the actress who had to run for several shots with bare feet. After that, Sebastian and Mace come up with a better plan, and we are treated to the worst, and I mean the worst defeat of any villain character I have ever seen in the history of anything. It's not just anticlimactic, but it's horribly written. I wish I could find a scene of it on YouTube to show you, so instead, I'm going to reenact it to show you how awful it is. We're on a boat, bitch. Or rather, the laziest thing I could create. Okay, set the scene. Drag, drag, drag. Oh god, they're going to kill us. I know, this isn't your best pep talk ever. Okay, just follow my lead. Alright, let's get back down there. Beat up, beat up, oh, oh, oh god! Back up, back up, I'll shoot you, back up! Come on, come on, we can work this out. Come on, mate, put the gun down, you don't want to hurt yourself. Damn it, Chris splash! Uh, fighting in the water, fighting in the water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, punch, punch. Uh. <sighs> Seriously? Okay, come on, mate. Stop it. Look, just stop it. I'll give you one million dollars if you just walk away. 
Okay, two million dollars. You know, you need to be more careful when you leave your harpoon gun laying around. Okay, fine. Three million dollars to walk away right now. You can do anything you want with that kind of money, except not really. Come on, mate. You're not a killer. True. But you are. I got shot in the chest with a harpoon and I'm dying. Yeah, still not a murderer, by the way. Oh man, we've been fighting in the water for nearly five minutes. Kick, swim, swim, swim. Oh no, help me! I can't swim! I can't swim! Blah, 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 blah. Whew. Phew. What do we do now? I don't know. I guess we just wait for the dramatic rescue and epilogue. I was hardly being overdramatic with that. Apparently, Carlton had the misfortune of hiring the only mercenary who can't swim to guard him on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Also, with such an abysmal exchange of dialogue, our hero, who is expected to have the moral high ground which was established in his character, simply kills Carlton in a really ham-fisted manner. So, six months pass, just like the last movie, and they find the wreck that they were looking for for so long. We as the audience don't get to see it, by the way, and that's it. No amount of titties could have saved this horrible film. With a lazy and uninspired plot, no character development, poor pacing, and a staggering lack of originality, this film is easily the worst one I have seen this week. Maybe the boobs and me complaining about it is enough to sell you on it, and if so, cool. Maybe you'll get a kick out of how bad it is, but be warned, it is a painful waste of time. I also noticed that a lot of the copyright simply calls it The Reef, so maybe it wasn't intended to be a sequel at all, but just an erotic adventure movie. I really don't know and I can't be bothered to care. What were they thinking?